All right, so um, I figured out a, a solution to a problem that um, one of my students was having, um, and that what they had was a running total. Okay, so they've got subtotals based on like the duration and the cost. Um, some of you have things like a cost and a quantity, so you need to create a subtotal and then have a total at the end. Now, some of you have tried to do a sum on on just um, this, but you can't you can't do that because these are being calculated and the values aren't stored if they're being calculated dynamically. If they're being cal uh, calculated in a query, then they can be saved and summed. Um, otherwise, you have to uh, do a slightly different formula, and we'll take a look at the differences between like the way this is calculated and the way this one is calculated. Essentially, in this example, we've got um, the um, the person needs to pay um, this amount if they've not paid it already. So if they have paid it, then they don't have to pay anything. And this is the final total. So this is kind of their invoice. So this is working, and I'll show you how I did that. Um, just so you know, I found the solution on this web page, uh, support.microsoft.com forward slash KB forward slash 113354. And it says here, cannot sum calculated controls in forms or reports. Gives you the symptom. So when uh, you open a form or report, hash name question mark is displayed in the text box in a form footer or on a parameter box appears requesting the field specified in the sum expression is in the report. Um, and it gives you some scenarios. So basically, um, if you read this, if you're having that problem, you read this, it will help you out. But I'll show you my solution quickly. Um, so if we go into the design view for this report, um, here in this in this field here, we are calculating the uh, duration times the cost per hour, and that that's dynamically calculated, and that's value is not stored. So you even if you've named that text box, so we've got a subtotal here. You can't just go sum uh, and subtotal because that's not being stored anyway. It's dynamically created, so this this can't access it. Um, so what you do is you go sum and you then perform those calculations again um, and that value is then calculated accurately. But in this instance, what if you have um, the uh, tick box? You don't want it to display anything. So we have to um, create like a little if statement for that. Now to do this, what I did was I, I clicked on the little square box up here. I then went to record source and I added a new um, field and I called it adjustment. And if I just make this longer, I said if paid equals yes, then show nothing in this in the val in the, the the field. Otherwise, it's duration times cost per hour. Um, some of you will have quantity times the cost. But because I've stored, I've calculated it in the query, it's actually stored under this field now called adjustment. So what that meant was I could make this the control source adjustment, and then what I would do. Um, you know, really, I should probably name that as well, but um, so we'll just call it adjustment. Um, what I did in this one was just sum of adjustment. And because adjustment is a field, that then calculates the um, calculates the field. So let's just run it again from here. If we run this statement, we can see that um, the person here has actually paid one of them. So that should say zero. The, so that means the if statement's working. So in total, they would have paid £48, but with the adjusted price, because they've paid that, it's only £32, so we know that's working. So that's how I did it. That's good.